When two vehicles at an uncontrolled intersection from different streets arrive at the same time, the driver on the left shall yield to the driver on the right. It's really hard to remember rules of the right away. A lot of beginning drivers just panic and they forget. So what I need you to do, you come up to the stop line, you look. You look to your left. You look to your right. You look to your left. If you're not sure, you let the other driver go first. You all have to take turns. If you react one half second slower because of a distraction, the chances of a crash double. We live in a distracted society. We're watching videos. We're watching cars. We're watching our mate. We're watching our friend. We're watching our enemy. You want to focus on the driving process, the driving environment. It changes every millisecond. When joining traffic by turning left, the gap to the left should be less than turning right because you're turning across traffic. These are cars coming at you. It really takes a lot of patience and time. A lot of beginning drivers just panic and turn the wheel really fast. That's going to make you overturn into the left lane. Or if you hit the gas, then turn, you're going to hit right into the telephone pole. So I've seen both. So I want you to come up to the middle of the intersection and then start turning really slow when it's clear and accelerate through. To turn right from a one-way street, you should position your vehicle to the right lane. Always turn in your nearest lane. If you're making a right turn, you would come up, turn in the nearest lane to the curb. If you're making a left turn, come up, turn by the double yellow. The first thing you should do when considering, when thinking about making a U-turn, is whether or not it's legal. There are signs in downtown areas, downtown Detroit, downtown Chicago, downtown L.A., downtown Houston, Texas. In some areas, you'll have a, a red circle with a line across. That's a prohibitory sign. You can't turn. The best position to take when waiting to make a left turn at a traffic signal that does not have a left light, does not have a left turn light, is to wait partially in the intersection with your wheel straight. True. Because if you're hit... You'll be knocked forward if your wheels are straight. If your wheels are turned and someone rear ends you, you're going to be knocked into oncoming traffic. That is very dangerous, so you want to take your time. When there are no vehicles approaching nearby, U-turns and residential areas are legal. You want to look behind you. You want to look in front of you. Do you have enough room to make your turn? Collisions occur at curves because the speed of the approach is too fast. A lot of beginning drivers go too fast in the turn, and centrifugal force will pull you out to the left if you're going around to the right. If you're going around to the left, it will pull you in the opposite direction. So go slow into your approach to the turn. To plan to turn, you should be in the correct lane about a block before. This is true. Plan early. Know where you're going and take your time. In a right turn, the rear tires will track closer to the curb in relation to the front wheels. This is true. To make a left turn from a one-way street to a two-way street, you should turn from the left lane. So you have to know where your lane is, you have to know in relationship to your car. So this is why you look, you're judging spaces. And if you're going to the left, you should be looking and turning your head. If you're going to the right, you should be looking and turning your head. Driving in rural roads can be especially hazardous due to deer. Deer are everywhere. They come out in the evening. They come out in the morning. So you always want to be that defensive driver be aware. To make a right turn into a two-way street, you should start turning your wheels in the farthest right lane and end the closest right to the curb. If you turn too early, the car will go short. If you turn too late, the car will go wide. You should enter a roundabout when there is an adequate gap in traffic. A gap is the space. Cars are going by. Cars are going by. When there's a space, you go up, you make your turn, you accelerate through. When approaching a crosswalk, you see a pedestrian walking in the cross. You must stop at the crosswalk, wait for the pedestrian to cross. Pedestrians always have the right of way. 
They may walk when the do not walk sign is flashing. They may walk when your light is about to turn green. If they're halfway in, wait for them, allow them to cross. Explain the proper procedure when passing a car in the left lane on a multiple uh, lane highway. You want to make sure it's legal. You want to make sure it's clear. Check your mirrors. Inside mirror, outside mirror. Inside mirror, outside mirror. Check your left blind spot. Look over your shoulder because you're merging out from the right to the left. So you got to look over your left shoulder. Turn on your left turn signal because people want to know you're merging out if you don't have on your blinker, but they see my car. Turn on your blinker. Change one lane at a time. Because if you go from the right lane all the way to the left lane, you might cut off a car. Turn your signal off. Pass the vehicle without exceeding the speed limit. A lot of beginners go over the speed limit. You're now speeding. Check your mirrors. Check your right blind spot. Turn on your right turn signal. Change lanes and turn it off. When checking your blind spot, you should look over your right shoulder if you're making a right lane change. You look over your right shoulder. Is this is my blind spot? Is someone in your blind spot? This is my blind spot. You got to look over your shoulder. A lot of beginners are scared to look. You have to put your chin to your shoulder, chin to shoulder, chin to shoulder. Too much steering input during a lane change will cause your vehicle to turn sharply. This is true. A lot of beginners overturn, and the car's headed to the right. Your mom is screaming. Your dad's screaming. You're screaming, relax. You should be no closer than 15 feet to the railroad approach. Who has to ride away in a roundabout? Vehicles already in. They're going in a circle. They're in the circle. They have the right of way. And then once there's a gap, you look, you check, you go in.